In this video, we'll be solving a quadratic-like equation. An equation is quadratic in form if it can be written as au squared plus bu plus c equals 0. Now, you can determine if you have an equation that's quadratic in form if you look at the highest power and then the next highest power, notice this exponent is 1 here. If this highest power is 2 times as much as this one, then you have a, an equation that's quadratic in form. So our equation that we're going to be solving is the quantity x minus 3 raised to the 1 half power minus 6 times the quantity x minus 3 raised to the 1 fourth power plus 8 equals 0. So to determine if this is quadratic in form, we would look at this exponent. If we multiply this exponent by 2, we get this exponent. We also have the same base. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that term that has the smaller exponent, and we're going to let u be that um, expression. So we have u is equal to x minus 3 to the 1 fourth power. Now we should be able to square both sides of this. And we'll get u squared is equal to the quantity x minus 3 to the, whenever you have a power to a power, you multiply those exponents. So 1 fourth times 2 over 1 is 1 half. And we do indeed have x minus 3 to the 1 half here. So we're going to make some substitutions. This term, x minus 3 to the 1 half power, is equal to u squared. So in place of this term, I'm going to put u squared. And then I have minus 6 times. And then in place of this factor, u, x minus 3 raised to the 1 fourth power, we see that x minus 3 to the 1 fourth power, that's in the green here, that's equal to u. So I'm going to put u in, and it's in this place. And then continue writing, plus 8 is equal to 0. So now I'm going to solve this simpler quadratic in u. And then once I have a value for u, then I can... Uh, put that back in and find out what x is. This trinomial is factorable. Um, u minus 4 times u minus 2 is equal to 0. I'll check it real quick. Negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. And then uh, the inners and the outers, negative 4u and negative 2u is negative 6u. So that is how that factors. And I can use the zero factor property to solve this. And you have two factors and their product is zero. Um, we can set this one equal to zero or this one equal to zero. And we'll solve each of these. Let's add four to both sides here. And u is equal to four. And let's add 2 to both sides here. That'll cancel. u is equal to 2. So now I have a value for u. But I know that u is this substitution here. So let me go back and put that in. I know that u is equal to x minus 3 to all of that quantity raised to the 1 fourth power. So u I know is 4. Let's do this one first. So 4 is equal to x minus 3 to the 1 fourth power. I'm wanting to solve for x, so I can raise both sides to the fourth power.
4 to the 4th is 256. And then multiply these exponents 1 4th times 4. That's just 1, so I have x minus 3. We'll add 3 to both sides. These will cancel. And I have x is equal to 259. That's one of my solutions. Let's do the same thing with the value of 2 substituted in for u. So I have u equals the quantity x minus 3 to the 1 fourth. Put 2 in for u. Then I can raise both sides to the fourth power. On the left side, I have 16. And uh, 1 fourth times 4 is 1, so I just have x minus 3 on the right. Add 3 to both sides. And I have x is equal to 19 as another solution.